VB Impulsive 4 demonstration model 110 power input 12 volt power supply charging circuit consists of four diodes in four capacitors thyristor this is a switch unloads everything the capacitors collected into the coil which is on the other side low voltage circuit consists of about 30 components controls the whole unit without this component circuit you just can't do it this is absolutely a required uh, part of the pulsar just gonna see here cooling fan obviously our coil the south pole indicator here this is the north side it's a two two part coil uh, we have a rubberish uh, silicone here and then plastic hard plastic here it's just wire relief strain relief here about six foot of cable all right let's move on let's take a look from this side closer back side of the printed circuit board no components on the back it's all through hole components I made this so that everybody can build it and it's easy to build so let me show this circuit board here consists of about 30 components or so all right well let's see how it works now you guys see how it's built also I have a SOTA Instruments MP6 model here and I'll do a quick test uh, comparing the power outputs from both of these units so let's uh, go ahead and activate our SOTA 0.6 Tesla unit this is a classic unit you guys everybody knows about this unit who doesn't know about this unit anyway I test it and it seems like north side is able to put out stronger pulse so we're gonna test it out of the north side all right so let's activate turn it on and here we are it's pulsing we just start to release the pulse I'm about to release another one there we are pretty quiet in operation actually all right so I have my usual two stack of aluminum foils they're 24 gram each I use them quite a bit so you see they're already been bent many times I straighten them out and reuse them again so let's place it on a coil and see see what happens let's wait for it to release the pulse and I'll hold this with my sharpie here we are you guys he just released the pulse let's wait for another one yeah, there was another pulse so here we are we got two pulses released into this um, stack of aluminum sheets and that's what it did to it all right let's leave it here and turn off the unit by the way uh, it has a second option to pulse faster this is the option that will pulse faster you see how much faster but at this option it's even weaker you see it's pulsing right now but it's not bending anything so at this position the pulser becomes even weaker you see it didn't get bent or anything all right so we'll turn off the unit 
and we'll move on to BBM Pulsar. I'll uh, go ahead and turn it on, just a second. Alright you guys, I got it plugged into the power outlet and let's test the power. So, the unit is currently pulsing, as we can hear. I don't know if you can see the pulse being released. Actually, another thing by the way, the circuit has a thermal protection inside and there is a, a thermal protection LED. This will start blinking anytime the unit goes into protection mode or a uh, coil gets hot and goes into protection mode. Um, this LED right here will start blinking. All right, so as you can hear, it's already pulsing. So what I'm gonna do is I'll take my stack. This is the one that wasn't bent and I'm gonna place it very quick and try to see what it does. So let me count three. One, two, three. And there we are. One single pulse. Look at that. One single pulse. And let's compare it to the SOTA. This is your SOTA. Two pulses. This is the BBM pulser. One pulse. Alright. Just to make sure this is not any special foil, I will place it over here. I'll straighten, straighten it out a little bit. Just a little bit, just in here. Alright. Then I'm gonna place it here and we'll do the same thing as I did with this guy. So, alright. Here we are. So you see guys, this thing is much more stronger than SOTA. Um, and it's free. This, If you like to build one of these units, you guys, you can look it up on my website and I, I'm giving away the circuit for this um, magnetic pulsar and you can build it yourself. Let me shut it off and talk a little more about it just a second. It's a little up. Alright, so the idea is I'd like to try to demonstrate to you guys so that you can see that these units are really not hard to build. It only takes a few components, more than a few components, around 40 components to put together. And here you go, you got yourself a really strong magnetic pulsar. By the way, I don't know if you can get one of these online anywhere because um, go ahead and find me one if you can and send me a link down below because I'm looking right now and I can't find anything that's um, that's it would, that would be compared to, to this unit for Tesla or so <clears throat> and it's not the strong unit I have much stronger units I have eight Tesla units and um, not gonna talk about those right now but just just saying that even the Ford Tesla I can't find anything that's this strong so this is an open source project um, I am giving away the circuit for this unit I'm giving away all design how it's built and soon I am planning to introduce uh, do-it-yourself kits so that you will have everything that it requires to build one of these units. In a kit you will have PCB, printed circuit board, with all the components that goes to it. Also I will include everything that comes in this kit, include, including a casing. Right now there is no casing here, uh, it's an open demonstration open model but normally you will get a case with a kit all right so that you can place it inside the case and close everything once again look on this side look on this side I have a cooling fan blows the air through this way through the resistor 
This is the only component that gets hot here, you guys. Just a second. Another thing is this is a handmade component. You won't be able to buy this component. You're gonna have to make it. It's made out of tile, ceramic tile, and it has 30 gauge resistive wire here. I'd say about five, six feet, maybe seven feet of it. The total the resistance of this resistant wire is about 50 ohm, 45, 50 ohm. And this is the required component to run this pulser. I have to build these components myself. It's not special either. It's just a piece of tile wrapped with a um, resistive wire, 30 gauge. All right, you guys. Another look at the circuit. One more look and charging circuit for the large capacitors. Um, one, two, three, four for diodes. One, two, three, four capacitors. And that's a charging circuit for the uh, large two capacitors that are here. One, two. And this, these two capacitors will, will store all the energy before it gets released into the coil this coil here all right so last thing pulser pulses about every once every three seconds once pulse being released every three seconds and um, power of the output is about four tesla forty thousand gus all right you guys um another thing <clears throat> circuit is available on my website if you go to to my website bbmpulsar.org and then look around uh, through the menu you'll you'll definitely gonna find also there is a free uh, giveaway giveaway going on for one of these uh, build unit already built so if you haven't subscribed yet and filled up a simple questionnaire form at my website I suggest you go ahead and do that so that you don't miss out the chance to uh, get yourself one of these already built unit all right, you guys, uh, please like it, share, subscribe, and let's get this uh, open source project to the public. You know, we we need these devices uh, for people. People do need these devices. They can do a lot of different good things to to, to our body. So let's let's share this. Let's get this technology more spread out and more available so that more people can test it out and use it. You guys, as always, are the best. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you for everything. Have an awesome day.